So as Pesach is just behind us, we are all getting ready for a Shabbat in which we are going to have halot, hametz, and I'm sure that you guys are aware of the minhag of having the uh, hala with a key inside or to make the hala itself in the shape of the key or to have both at the same time, whichever minhag you keep. May HaKadosh Baruch Hu open the Sha'arim, the gates of Parnassah, and for all the Berachot, for our community and all Am Yisrael, Amen, Kenyahiratzon. But I think it's a very interesting concept when you think about the bread, as we have been reflecting on the Midah of Savlanut, the Midah of Patience, this uh, past month. And here is why. Everybody understands that good things, tasty things, happen after waiting for them. The bread is not something that grows directly from the ground. We have to go through a process. First, we have to plant the seeds. And then hopefully, with a nice amount of rain and the right temperature, it's going to grow. And that takes time. It takes actually a few weeks, maybe a few months even. And after that, we are going to let the we are going to cut up root the wheat and let the grain dry before uh, crushing it, grinding it into a small tiny powder that we call uh, flour. And then after that, only after that, we're going to mix it with water. And once it's mixed with the water, well, in order to become hametz and tasty, we have to give it time for the dough to rise. And then after that, and only after that, we have to put it in the oven. It's still not ready. And we also need to wait. We have to let the fire, the heat, do its work until finally the bread, the symbol of Parnasa, the symbol of life, of food, of survival, is finally ready. And Akadosh Baruch Hu is sending us a message. Because yes, indeed, throughout the holiday of Pesach, we did not wait. It was important to seize the moment, to do it at the right time. But there is also a message post-Pesach, after that, that waiting in many, many situations will get you amazing results. That's the way it's going to work with many mitzvot, the mitzvah of Orla. We have to wait three years until we eat the fruits. There is really a inyan, that savlanut, patience, will just take you in a better place. And it's probably also a message in this week's parasha, parashat Aharemot, which talks about the holiday of Kippur, the highest, holiest day of the year. And the first pasuk is pretty tough. It's a very, very, I would say, almost a negative pasuk. Vaidaber Hashem el Moshe Aharemot shene bene Aharon. He's going to introduce all the laws of Yom Kippurim, the ritual of the Kohen Gadol, with the taste of Ahare Mochene Bene Aharon, after the death of the two sons of Aharon, the Korvatam Lifne Hashem, Vayamutu, who also wanted to get close to Bore Olam. They entered the Kodesh HaKodashim, they did the Ketoret, they tried, at least they thought, that they were doing something good, something amazing. And yet, Moshe Rabbeinu tell his brother, it's not all the time. It's not at any time that you can enter the Kodesh HaKodeshim. You have to wait until Kippur comes. You have to make sure that when you do things, good things are appreciated when they are in the frame of the Halakha, when they are in the frame of Savlanut, of patience. That it's not what I want and what I am pushed to do because I am impulsive. No. I have to make sure to obey the rules to follow the guidelines of Torah and Mitzvot. And that is again a reminder on the Midah of Savlanut. Because as much as we are trying to understand what really, really happened with Nadav and Avihu, why they did what they did, and we find in the Mefarshi maybe 18 reasons. They were Shetuye Yayin, they were More Halacha Bifne Rabban, they entered the Kodesh HaKodashim, they brought Shchut uh, uh, all kind of different ways to find what they did wrong instead of focusing on all that think that there's an idea over here that whatever they did they acted at their level obviously at their level not at our level but at their level they acted without the midah of savlanut 
And HaKadosh Baruch Hu tells Moshe Rabbeinu, tell your brother Aharon that the first ingredient that you need as a Kohen Gadol to do the right thing, to be mechaper on the arm on the holiest day of the year is ve'al yavo bechol ait el hakodesh. It is not an introduction to the ritual. It is part of it. It is part of the guidelines of Kippur, where the Kohen Gadol needs to know that doing the right thing at the right time is part of the Avodat Hashem on a daily basis, on every single situation that we face ourselves in our lives. If I have to wait because I'm stuck in traffic, if I have to wait because I cannot find parking, if I have to wait because someone is before me, if I have to wait because it's just not coming today and they told me that it got delayed in the shipment. Kol akava letova. It's hard to say it and it's hard to believe it and to integrate it, but Hachamim tell us, Kol akava. Whatever you have to wait for, letova is for the best. Just remember the bread as the symbol of Parnassah, the symbol of Beracha, the symbol of Hayim. The bread is made because it takes time. And once it's done, it's delicious. It's perfect. May we all have the Midah of Savlanut. May HaKadosh Baruch Hu give us all the Berachot. Ad Belidai. Amen. Shabbat Shalom. Umburach.